All right, this is a calorimetry problem, so we're going to apply the first law. Uh, the heat gained plus heat lost is equal to zero. Our situation is that we piece, take a piece of hot metal, put it in a calorimeter cup. The temperature of the water increases, the temperature of the hot metal decreases. So we've indicated our temperature changes here. Our water increases in temperature, our hot metal decreases in temperature. Remembering that delta T is Tf minus Ti, that leaves us with a positive temperature change for the water and a negative temperature change, or excuse me, a positive temperature change for the metal, negative temperature change for the water. So we're going to apply the equation heat is mass times specific heat times delta T for both the water that's going to gain in temperature and the metal that loses its temperature. All right, we've set up our multiplication and completed it. So we have the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times its temperature change. That's going to equal 709.188. For the metal, the mass of the metal and our temperature change, so you multiply these values together, and that's multiplied by our specific heat. The sum of these is equal to zero. All right, we're going to collect like terms. Um, we subtract the 709.18 from each side. So we have our specific heat times this negative number is equal to the seven, negative 709.18. Again, we're solving for specific heat. All right, it looks like a lot of work here, but it really isn't. Um, we're just solving for our specific heat. So we have negative 709.188 divided by 15 negative 1576.8, we get our value for our specific heat, and we limit ourselves to three sig figs and have our final answer.